Hi, welcome to the Life Sciences Innovation Hub. My name is Nima Najand, and today I'm going to be giving you a tour of our facilities. The building is a 127,000 square foot research facility that was purchased from Shell by the University of Calgary. Shell donated a part of the value of the building to the university, and we've transformed it from an oil and gas research facility more to a life sciences research facility. The building exists to provide a space for early stage life sciences companies to conduct their R&D. It has wet lab and dry lab space, it has a whole bunch of equipment that's available to companies with a membership. Um, it also has meeting rooms and a number of programming, including the impact program, and the fellowship program, and lots of workshops to help startup companies uh, with their early stage specific needs. So one of the first things we're going to do is look at one of the larger conference rooms that we have in the Life Sciences Innovation Hub. And this is where companies can host larger events. So if you follow me up these stairs, we can go and see the conference room. So right now we're in the large conference room. This room is ideal for hosting larger events and conferences where you have a bigger number of people. It can seat about 150 people. Currently it's divided in two, so it doubles in size. It's got two projectors and all the AV equipment you need to have a large audience presentation. Here we are in one of the larger boardrooms at the LSIH. These rooms are all available for booking on a first come, first serve basis. We have an online system for that. And these are great for startup companies who need to host a meeting with investors, with collaborators. It always more, looks more legitimate to have a meeting in a room like this as opposed to a basement or in a coffee shop somewhere. So these are available to our members, to our non-resident members and any tenants that are in the LSIH. So the Life Sciences Innovation Hub is open to any company, not just those that are affiliated with the University of Calgary, um, as long as you are a life sciences company. And that means your traditional diagnostics, medical devices, and therapeutics, but also it expands beyond that to vet med companies, uh, egg companies, and even some food service companies. There's two models with which we can have space at the Life Sciences Innovation Hub. One is in the private labs, as you can see to my right, some examples of those. With that, the company has access to uh, a lab where only their employees have a key card. Uh, in those labs, the expectation is for them to bring in all of their own equipment. They're also responsible for all of their own waste management and all their own permits for the kind of research that they're doing. And then there are the shared labs, the incubator space. In the incubator space, we provide all of the molecular biology equipment that you need, as including the rapid prototyping tools, which are 3D printers, laser cutters, all the fun stuff you need to prototype your uh, devices or anything else that you're developing. We take care of all the uh, waste removal. We take care of all the permits. All you have to do is show up and start doing some of your research. Um, that works on a monthly membership model. So right now we're in one of the shared labs. All of these labs are biosafety level two or level one labs. Um, and this is where the monthly membership model actually would put place you. So for the monthly membership fee per person, you get about this much bench space. You get some dedicated storage space to keep your stuff like reagents or tools, and you can leave your stuff on the bench as well. The equipment is distributed throughout the labs. We try to partition them by function, so various labs are kind of dedicated to certain tasks, uh, but we try to, as much as we could, put certain equipment in certain labs. So this lab, for example, is a level two lab, and behind me, uh, as we go through, is uh, the microscopy facility. There's a range of microscopes in this room that are kind of distributed. If you want to do some microscopy work, you would essentially come set your samples up in here, take whatever images you want, all of the microscopes have cameras and have fluorescence, and then go back to your home station when you're done. So right now we're in the cell culture room. As you can imagine, cell culture is prone to contamination, so we segregate it from other bits of equipment and we try and limit the number of people who come in here. Everyone needs to get the proper training to work in the Life Sciences Innovation Hub, but once you're be you've been trained to work in specific rooms or specific pieces of equipment, you're welcome to book these. So for more popular pieces of equipment like the cell culture hoods, there's a booking system where companies would book a certain period of time on that equipment and use it when they need to. Uh, but otherwise, most pieces of equipment are first come, first serve. So this is our electronics lab, more designated for companies that are doing medical device work or any kind of work where they need to do prototyping with breadboards or electronics. 
We have soldering irons, we have a reflow oven, we have oscilloscopes, many of the tools that companies would need to do that early stage prototyping. The last lab we're going to look at today is the prototyping lab. This is a lab where companies can do their early stage 3D printer, printing, laser cutting, CNC uh, machining. Um, over here to my right, you can see a whole range of power tools that are available for companies. Um, as well, if you'll follow me, you can see a host of 3D printers where, again, because 3D printers take a long time, companies can book time on these printers and uh, do all of their printing. Behind me, you'll see a large full-scale CNC machine as well as a laser cutter. So I'd like to finish the tour off in the Exchange Lounge. And the Exchange Lounge really embodies what the Life Sciences Innovation Hub is all about. It's that sense of community and bringing companies all together under one roof. The Exchange Lounge is actually open to anybody, so you don't have to be a member or a resident in the Life Sciences Innovation Hub to come here. We want companies to come here whether or not they're actually affiliated, affiliated with the Life Sciences Innovation Hub. Uh, the idea behind this lounge is for companies to come together, interact with one, another, with one another, feed each other information that might be useful, and build that sense of community. In the Exchange Lounge, we host a number of events and workshops and seminars that you'll find useful. Again, those are open to most people, so if you're um, interested in attending those, go to lsih.ca and sign up to our newsletter, and you'll get notice of all the events that we're hosting here. Um, otherwise, come here and just hang out and meet new people. You'll never know who you'll run into at the Life Sciences Innovation Hub. So that concludes our tour. I'd like to thank you for joining me on this little visit to the Life Sciences Innovation Hub. My name is Nima Najand. If you have any questions, please send me an email or go to our website. Thank you.